Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shalaka, and in this video I'm going to talk about common 3D graphics issues that you might experience while using Astrogator in STK. Uh, so hopefully the tips that I give you will help you out in case you're um, seeing something where your satellite's not showing up, your orbit isn't closing. Hopefully this video helps you out there. So let's get started. The first thing that uh, I'd like to show you is, it's pretty obvious, in my 3D graphics window here, my orbit isn't closed. And so that's something really common actually that happens. And you just have to remember that, let's open up our properties um, in the satellite. You just have to remember that the final propagate segment needs to be given enough time or you have to make sure that your final stopping condition is such that your satellite has the chance to make a full pass or close the orbit. So the final orbit that the satellite makes actually has a period of 80 hours. So if I make this 80, apply my change, and I'll just minimize my window so you can see what happens here when I run it. Um, if I apply and then run and get rid of the constraints, you can see that my orbit is now closed because I've given the satellite enough time to propagate that full orbit. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're wondering why your graphics isn't showing up the way you want. The first thing to check would be that final propagate segment. Two other things that might occur are that you don't see your satellite at the beginning of your scenario or you don't see it at the end. So let's take a look at that. So I've zoomed in here this first green circle you can see is that initial orbit. And I'm at the beginning of my scenario. But if you look, as I play my scenario, I don't see anything here marking where my satellite is. And then suddenly it appears. So I'll pause and reset. And let's think about why that happened. So if I open up my properties window, you'll see that in my initial state, my orbit epoch is at 1300 UTCG, but my scenario begins at 1100. So what's happening here is that my satellite doesn't even exist in my scenario until 1300, so that's why it only appears two hours after I've started my scenario. So just remember that if you're wondering why a satellite isn't appearing. And then the same thing actually happens. So let's say I go to, um, 15th of February. And by now, my satellite should have been in that final orbit. So if I play my scenario, you see there's nothing really here. If I actually go and play this in reverse, increase my step size a bit here, you should see that satellite just kind of pop up in its final orbit quite soon. So there it is. Um, so as you can see, after a certain point, my satellite actually disappeared. And the reason for that, again, is because while I've given this propagate segment at the end enough time to make one pass, I didn't give it enough time to last for the full duration of the scenario. So another thing to remember is that depending on when your satellite actually starts its path and when it finishes its final propagate segment, um, that'll dictate whether you see it in your scenario here something to keep in mind um, and those are some really common issues uh, as you can see I've pressed this red reset button quite a lot just in general if you're ever having any graphics issues in Astrogator or otherwise the red reset button is definitely what you should hit um, if something's not displaying properly if you've applied a change and it's not showing just make sure you've hit that button because that gives the scenario time to take into account all the changes you made and apply them to the scenario so that's the last tip I have for you. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, thanks for watching and happy scenario making.